I'm Chris and this is my 73 to 87 GM truck door teardown video. So we gotta get everything off this door to start the bodywork and restoration process. We're gonna have videos coming on everything, vent glass, weather strip, bodywork, everything on this whole truck is gonna be on YouTube, so subscribe if you're into that. Don't miss any of those videos. But for right now, all we're doing is tearing this thing down. So you actually wanna start from the inside. Let's get this door flipped around. So this is just your typical 1985 old Chevy work truck door. We're gonna start by getting that door panel off. So we start by getting the door handle off. You might have to look in there and see which side that clip is. On the open side, there's a tool or just use a rag. Let's get that rag in there like that. Oh God. All right, so that's the clip. This is aftermarket and it's no good. Okay, so this door panel is a freaking mess. Got random screws, missing everything. Let's just get it off. So just get it where it pulls off at the bottom. We're gonna have to wiggle it up. It's gonna have these metal pieces on the window felts that are gonna hang up. Just try to get that thing up and out. Okay, so this door panel's been off. It's missing a bunch of stuff. Trash, window felts. But don't throw it away until you're finished with your project. So as soon as you get that door panel off, be sure and take a picture. So look for where all the screws were screwed in and you may need to get these kind of clips off. You gotta get this stuff because it will fall off. So the next thing you wanna get out is the door glass. The way I do that is I remove the window regulator. That's what this crank is attached to that makes it go up and down with the little wheels. We need to go ahead and unbolt it and we're gonna use this to move it around. Okay, so we got the regulator bolts taken off. So we got it dropped about two or three inches and a little board holding the glass so it doesn't drop down. So the regulator has three arms on it, two arms and two wheels. One's right there, a wheel in that track, and the other one is hidden back here, a wheel in that track. So then that regulator has a third arm and a third wheel and it rides in the track attached to the door. So what I do is I put this crank on here and we're gonna go left and right moving this and we're just trying to get those wheels out of those tracks one way or the other. So when I turn it this way, see how it's pushing out? And the first wheel I like to get out is this little one. We're just gonna watch it kind of pop out. All right, see it just popped out on its own. So we can continue that way and try to pop this one out. Let's see. Keep turning it, turning it, turning it. It dropped right out. So then we turn it back the other way and the wheels in the track right here, we could try to slide it out over here. Now there is a little area on this track that's gonna allow for the wheel to fit through it, but we can't see it. So let's just continue to roll this and see if it just pops itself out of the track. We can just push this in. All right. Okay, so you see what happens when you use wheel bearing grease and it attracts a whole bunch of dirt. The common mistake people make is they put grease in here, but they never check the wheel to see if it spins. This one's pretty much locked up. But just pay attention to stuff like that. It's not that bad, it's still good. Okay, so always try to put your bolts back where they go as quick as possible. So with the window regulator completely removed, we can get that glass out. Now I'll get the glass off from the inside. Okay, so I kind of slide it out of the track like this. It took me like 10 seconds to get this out. That was the cutout I was talking about to get that regulator wheel out in the door. So now we get the vent glass out. It's one whole assembly. You're gonna look down there, you're either gonna have one or two bolts. So you're gonna have two, or you're gonna have one. So you got one or two down there, that's it. Work your way up on the door. You got one Phillips, two Phillips, three Phillips. So it's very wise to take one of these, stick it in there and hit it with a hammer. a good screwdriver the one on the top is just a normal screw the lower ones have these special washer things okay so before you start to pull the vent glass this way you need to clear that channel of any old weather strip okay that old weather strip will hold it in there it should just pull right out 
So you're gonna kinda wanna twist it as it comes up. There you go, get it right out. This one freaking broke, what the heck? All right, so this one did break right here after inspecting it, it's just this little bracket. We're gonna be able to weld it back together. I'm gonna have restoration on these coming shortly. Okay, so we gotta get these old window felts out, flathead screwdriver. Okay, pull it this way, look down in there, you'll see a tab and it kind of picked up on it just like that. Look down in there, just like that, work it off. All right. Okay, so that's why you gotta take all this apart. All this exposed metal is rusting, and one more year, it's gonna start eating holes in there. We caught it just in the right amount of time. Okay, so now we need to get all the handles and locks, latch mechanism, all that stuff out. We need to start by getting those screws out because sometimes they're gonna be stuck and you gotta drill one out. The same thing, get the correct size, stick it in there. Spray some kind of lubricant on it. Okay, perfectly straight with all your force. Same thing. Okay, so we're going to need our 7 16 Now, where the weather strip goes, there's this metal piece in here. We're going to take these two screws off and get it out. Okay, so go ahead and get this door handle off. We got the door handle loose. I'm going to have to hold the camera so we can try to see in here. First thing we want to do is take that latch that's unbolted and get it off of that lock stud right there. All right, just kind of reach in there, get it off like that. All right, get it off. So the super hard part is that outside door handle rod. We have to get it detached from the latch mechanism. So we got to bring this forward or out this way to this hole so we can see that little clip and take it apart. So you see we didn't get it that far. The next step is take the exterior door handle off. It's got one there and one outside. Let's get that off and see if it'll give us some room. So one and two for the exterior door handle. So we got the outside door handle loose and you can pull it out, but you cannot get that rod off of this side. You have to get it off the latch mechanism. I'm gonna be able to put the phone right here on the top of the door and we can actually look right down at it this is the clip right there that's got to come off. So the way we get it off, we got to get us some little pick tools like this and a screwdriver. Okay, so you just kind of work the pick in there. Just go ahead and pull this out. We don't need to worry about saving this right now. You can buy these. We just need to get this freaking thing out without cutting our hands up. Okay, so once you get it pulled back like that, now you need to push it straight down. Okay, we got it. Okay, this should just pull out. So that is extremely difficult to get it unclipped, but once you do, the rest of it just comes right out. So here's the exterior door handle removed. And when you're in the door for the first time, for some reason you'll think that you can take that clip out and this will slide out and it does not. It's just an anti-rattle clip. So taking it off in the door was super hard, but putting it back is gonna be even harder. So I reached in there with the clip and I pulled that little tooth out like that. That's why I said, don't worry about breaking it. Just bend it, get it out of the way. Okay, I went in there very carefully. Wear gloves so you don't cut yourself. And I was just trying to pry it down on this clip. It's super hard to get it to move. And I just got it down like that. I had to reach in there and you just kind of slide it out like that. Super freaking difficult, but I did just do that inside the door. So get the screws back in the latch. And if it looks okay, it's probably still good. I'm gonna show you how to clean these up in a future video. So it's even difficult to get this thing started back on there. You're gonna have to line it up, push it back on with a screwdriver, and make sure that little tooth goes back in there, locking it once again. So we got it put back together just like it was in the truck. So to get that lock cylinder out, I just always use channel locks. Kind of reach in there. We're trying to pry this locking tab out, just like that. All right, save all this stuff. So I'll leave some of the plastic stuff in there because if we try to pull it out, we're gonna break it. I'll leave this in here because we're gonna sandblast and clean that up. Now there's also a vent down here. We wanna go ahead and get this out because it's probably already been painted over a couple times. So this one's missing some of these little flaps. 
you could easily put some kind of material in there to repair it. So we just come over here like this. And this kind of pops out. Get it out of the way. Three eighths. Glass is busted. This mirror is of no use to me. I save this stuff and give it to people that park these trucks out. I never throw away old stuff like this. So the door is stripped down and ready for bodywork. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.